This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Rick Ross is desperate for another beef with 50 Cent. He kind of talks about him constantly every year. Just go through the the interviews he does. You know, he's like, 50 couldn't make another hit to save his life. 50 couldn't do this. Da, da, da. Rick Ross, you haven't had a hit in a while either. You were just, Drake just threw you an alley oop on that lemon pepper freestyle and let you get off because you're a nice rapper, but let's not get a little, let's not get ahead of ourselves out here. So Rick Ross recently did an interview and said this. Why is it so much beef in rap? Like, because, you had your beef. Because it's so, it's so profitable. It's so many squares who sit at home and they want to see that. Oh, Somebody said this comment. Oh, they'll go tag you on some bullshit. I be mad for that shit. Man, promote this shit right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no time for that bullshit. But, you know what I'm saying? When does marketing, because that's what it is. It's marketing, really. Like, right now, if you, you became beef with them, let me know if I'm wrong. But if if you were 50, right. y'all got into it. Right. If you make a diss track, he makes a dick track. Bro, you know millions of people are going to buy that, that diss track. But maybe when does it become from marketing to maybe, maybe, physically? Maybe not no more because he's no longer valuable in the music arena. Yeah. Maybe before I would wake up in the morning and shit on him and say something just to turn up the little vibe. You know, I'm going to post some new shoes I got later. <laughs> Let me call him the, the monkey he is. You know, and that's what it was. <laughs> straight up, straight up. You know, it's funny because, like, he's kind of using 50 Cent's own tactics against him remember 50 cent was saying he's not valuable in the music space now that obviously backfired on 50 because he came out with bmf right after that and the old 50 would have gone at styles p for helping rick ross but actually that actually helped styles p at that moment but i think that's funny that he's trying to bring that back up then we got um hell Row, jr Ryder, and 40 cal they do an interview with um they do an interview with Bootleg Kev, and they let it be known that the relationship with Cameron is still fine. Just because they're not doing business anymore doesn't mean that they're not cool. You know, they they went to support uh, Dipset vs. Locks at the uh, at the verses. And what, what what's funny about that? Let me see if I save that. That that was funny. Uh, oh, here it is. Eve tries to play Cameron in the whole battle. She, it, it's uh, Eve and Cameron, and uh, Cameron's like asking her what she wants. So what basically what happened was Cameron's acting like he's like Eve's assistant and uh she says, uh, yeah, yeah, play the best of the locks. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny, man. Um, then we got uh, Jack Boy. Jack Boy starts his own label. Who would he sign first for 100000 He said, just started my label, 1804 Records. Tag upcoming artists in your city. I got hundred k right now. That's almost like super disrespectful to Kodak Black. Just, you might as well just give Kodak Black the 100000 so he stops going at you. Because he did put you on. He did put you on. And he says you got nothing for it. So maybe you should bless him with a little hundred thousand. Uh, but one of uh, Kodak's guys, Sky o Bob, has comments on this situation. And then you from niggas and puss ass hoes who be on the internet just going along with this bit talking about a nigga wrong we got a nigga doing a bitch wrong uh be ass fucked up what a nigga doing y'all don't know what the fuck i don't even be saying a bitch wrong dumb ass people talking about a motherfucker let your dog do some green ass. all able to fall out though huh 
But since that Jack, he ain't able to fall out with him green ass. Yo, that's crazy. Jack, because your certain people can't do this, huh? He can't get, he can't have feelings for the you sign room. Not known for being a killing bro. You is definitely not one of them. You ain't no stepper. You feel me? You ain't no stepper, nigga. You know that, like, nigga ain't even like out here. And then you just faking like a nigga just flaw. Oh, Donald Trump sent a real yak out. You a whole ass nigga. You ain't want him to be out. Green ass nigga. I'm talking about Donald Trump sent a real yak out. Stop playing like it, like for real. You just real deal going through it, going through it with a little baby. I don't know you. Stop playing, boy. Like you just real deal, just I chill. You feel me? Your dog put you on. She not even have to ask for nothing though. Want nothing from you. Should be able to like, okay. He put me. He. I'm able to do this and do that. I should be able to do this for my nigga without him asking to. Not even wanting nothing. You feel me? A nigga still going. Gift a nigga even for this being a honey, being real. You feel me? Yeah, I kind of wish they would work that out because these two were pretty special together, man. You know, like, uh, you always want to see two people work things out, man. You know, and it's sad that they're not together anymore. But uh, anyways, I will uh, get back to you guys later. I appreciate you guys. I think that's everything. Let me, let me double check. Sometimes I just put in some extra stuff. Okay, we're good. We good. We good. All right. I appreciate you guys. Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. No, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'll check you guys later. Peace.